Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to make a video going over a build in Persona 4 Golden. P4G as well as Persona 3 Portable got released on modern platforms recently, so what better time to make a video like this? Previously I've made videos like this, but only with subtitles, so let me know if you prefer this way of presentation or not. The persona in question for this video is Yoshitsune. If you played some of the recent Persona or SMT games, you know he's generally really good. He comes with the exclusive skill Hasatobi, which hits 8 times for light physical damage. And the light phrase here is pretty deceiving because each hit results in a lot of damage, and it totals to do more than any other move in the game. Not only that, but it hits all enemies instead of just one. Basically, if you want an easy way to deal with late game enemies and bosses, this is your guy. This build also makes Yoshitsune immune to all damage besides Almighty. It's very overkill, but the game allows you to do it, so why not? This video will show a fusion path to get to this end result. I tried to make it as straightforward as I could, but with a build like this, it will involve a decent number of personas. If you don't want to min max as hard, you could skip a step here or there, as long as you get to the end result and you're satisfied. Before getting to the fusions, I should mention that I made a video previously that included tips for people new to Persona 4 Golden. Uh, it's not voiced, but the information there should be just as relevant now. Also, background music for this vid is by Jai. They make a lot of great music, including Persona remixes, and they recently released a project based on P3 and P4. I'll leave links to their SoundCloud and their Bandcamp in the description, definitely check them out. Lastly, if you end up finding this video useful, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing as it really helps out the channel. The first step involves taking a Lachesis of at least level 55 and fusing it with Unicorn and Kukulin to make Shiki OG. We need level 55 here so that Lachesis can learn Absorb Wind. There are a couple ways to level up Personas in P4G, the easiest one being getting bonus XP at the point of fusion due to you having a high social link with the corresponding Arcana. Basically, Lachesis is a fortune persona, the fortune social link is Nyoto, so if you have a high rank with them, you'll gain bonus XP here. Another way is to defeat Golden Hands, the annoying enemies you run into in dungeons. Uh, the easiest way to defeat those guys is to lower their evasion and use almighty attacks. And yet another way is picking an Emperor card during shuffle time, which will instantly level up your equipped persona. The next step is to take Scotty of at least level 59 and fusing it with Sarasvati to make Hidokoto Nushi. Scotty has to be level 59 because we are transferring both Repel Ice and Repel Fire. The second to last fusion here involves Michael of at least level 76 with Huapo and Atavaka to make Hachiman. Michael learns Repel Dark at level 76, which is what we want for the final build. And after you have done all the previous steps, you can fuse Yoshitsune. This is a special 5 persona fusion involving the personas we previously made, as well as Masakado and Akumi Nushi. Masakado needs to be level 74 ideally, because they learn Arms Master, which reduces the cost of physical skills by half. Unfortunately at this step, we can only pass over 5 skills at most, so the ones for this build will be Arms Master, Repel Fire, Repel Ice, Absorb Wind, and Repel Dark. Yoshitsune needs to be leveled up to 83 to finally learn Hasatobi. The other two skill slots can be kept as is, keeping Power Charge and Heat Riser, or you can use skill cards to add different ones. Skill cards can be obtained during shuffle time or manually by spending time at the cafe in Okina City. There are some good options like Insta Heal, App Pupil, Ally Dance, and Endurance Soul in case you face a lot of almighty magic, etc. And that is basically it for the build, I think. I opted for Repel Fire and Repel Ice over Absorb just because it made the fusion path a lot shorter. And yeah, this can take a little time if you don't have the personas already in your compendium, but I tried to make it as simple as I could. I'll include a fusion calculator in the description if you guys need it at all, or if you think there's a better way to get to the end result. Again, P4G is a relatively easy game, so don't stress too much about min-maxing. I will be making at least one more build guide for Trumpeter, who's a really good support persona, so look out for that one. And if this is your first time playing P4, or the 100th time, I hope you have a lot of fun with the game. 
Peace.